the clandestine Catholic Church. New Catacombs. The Catholic Church is suffering the greatest crisis in its history. It is a crisis of faith. It is the time of the great apostasy of the Church, when the moral values established by tradition have been lost, when the Church is being reformed to destroy it and create a global religion for the people of the world, not for God's chosen Catholic people. The corrupt hierarchy headed by Bergoglio, followed by all cardinals, bishops, priests, and laymen devoted to papalism, are in communion of apostasy, accept faithfully the teachings of the false prophet, and believe themselves to be in the Catholic Church, outside of which there is no salvation. It is a naive belief, because salvation is found only through obedience to the commandments of God, not to those of men. Acts 4, verses 19 to 20. But Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him. You be the judges. In the face of evidence that shows the perverse direction that the Catholic Church has taken, leading people to immorality through the acceptance of homosexuality and adultery, accepted in the Apostolic Exhortation Amoris Laetitia, in the publication What is Man, and in the new catechetical directory that is full of ambiguities, opens doors to gender ideology and bioethics. Apart from this, the new church is being rebuilt on the basis of Freemasonry. First, the freedom we see is clearly enacted in sexual immorality. Second, the equality that the church is promulgating, promulgating is by accepting gender ideology, the false ecumenism that accuses the Catholic faith with the traditions and sects of the world, including Satanism. According to the Goyo, all are saved by equality before God, not by Jesus Christ who died for our sins on the cross. Thirdly, brotherhood, which is a call to the world, one of the enemies of the soul. Freemasonry and Bergoglio's new religion invites us to a devilish brotherhood, because true brotherhood can only be achieved by being brothers of Christ in his precious blood. In fact, no one is saved except through Christ. Jesus tells us in John 15 verses 5 and 6, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. For all the above reasons, the hierarchy of the church does not represent the true Catholic Church. It is a new global religion that has separated itself from the true vine. Our church now depends on the conscience of each one of us. And that is why small clandestine groups of priests and lay people faithful to the faithful magisterium of the church and to the tradition for which many martyrs died are already being formed. The new catacombs of the Church are this small nucleus that adhere to the truth. The big Church can stay where it is. The new Church is reduced in size. The Lord calls it the small faithful remnant. Let us remember that the Lord promised us in Matthew 18 verse 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. And I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. If you like this video, please give us a like. 
subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.